at the break even point area contribution margin equals to total fixed cost in case of loss that is minus loss the yolo area indicate losses at break even point area and the green area indicates profit if we want to achieve profit then we have to recover fixed cost at first by contribution margin hi everyone welcome to laymap today i want to share you how you can take business decisions using cost volume profit analysis or break even analysis it's a beautiful amazing analysis and a full disclosure for you let's start it cost volume profit analysis or break even analysis is a technique that looks at the impact that changing levels of cost and volume have on operating profit that means changing cost and volume levels shows how many impacts on operating profit cpp makes several assumptions among these one is sales price fixed cost and variable cost per unit are constant to understand the concept let's make an example a manufacturing company produces pens its variable cost per unit is $8 total fixed cost is $10 and sales price per unit is $10. Here, minimum amount of fixed cost has been taken to make easy this case study. At first, the company can avail to sell one unit pen at $10. After subtracting variable cost per unit $8, then it creates $2 contribution margin. Now the question is, what is contribution margin? We know this simple equation that is cost plus profit equal to sales. Cost is generally divided into fixed cost and variable cost. So the equation is fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit equal to sales. If we change the side, then fixed cost plus profit equal to sales minus variable cost. This is called contribution margin. The contribution margin is the aggregate amount of revenue available after variable cost. So, to determine the sales price of the product, variable cost is so important. This excess aggregated revenue is used to cover fixed cost and provide profit. If loss is incurred, the result would be fixed cost minus loss equal to sales minus variable cost. As per example, after one unit sales, $2 contribution margin is earned after recovering variable cost. So, this extra $2 recovering a portion of fixed cost. After that, fixed cost is still remaining $8 that shows loss for the company. Then the equation impact is this $2 in both sides. Gradually, when the company able to sell, 5 units pain, then $2 contribution margin each for 5 units pain creates total $10 contribution margin. This $10 contribution margin has recovered all fixed cost of $10. At this point, total sales $10 each for 5 units is total $50, variable cost $8 each for 5 units is total $40 and contribution margin is total $10. So sales $50, first recovering variable cost $40 and then fixed cost $10. At equation, it looks that fixed cost $10 that is recovered by contribution margin. If we change the side, it looks fixed cost $10 and variable cost $40 that means Total cost $50 is recovered by total sales $50. There is no loss and no profit for the company. So it is called break even point. We have understand that at this break even point area, contribution margin recovers total fixed cost. So here, total contribution margin equals to total fixed cost. Thereafter, if sales is increasing to another one unit 
and creates another $2 contribution margin. Now it's not required to recover fixed cost because it has already done. So it creates a profit for the company. Gradually when it is able to sell 3 units pen then it creates a total contribution margin $6. This $6 contribution margin generates profit for the company. So it is called margin of safety for this 3 units pen. Margin of safety is the amount by which sales exceeds the break even point. We understand that at this margin of safety point contribution margin generates profit for the business. So here total contribution margin equal to total profit. In total after 8 units sold total sales are $80 total variable cost are $64 which is 80% of sales and total contribution margins are $16 whereas $2 each for 8 units pain that is 20% of sales. Here $16 contribution margin firstly used for recovering fixed cost by $10 at the break even point area and secondly it is used for generating profits $6 for the company at the margin of safety area. So total fixed cost $10 and variable cost $64 that is equal to total cost $74. Hence in briefly we can say that at the break even point area contribution margin equals to total fixed cost in case of loss that is minus loss which is 62% of total contribution margin and at the margin of safety area contribution margin equals to profit which is 38% of total contribution margin. So the total contribution margin equals to fixed cost plus profit. In the case of the opposite it is minus loss. Therefore total sales are divided into break even point area and margin of safety area where these ratios are 62% and 38% respectively. The graph helps to visualize the relationships between sales and total cost. Here OX vertical axis represents total sales amount dollar and OY horizontal axis represents sales unit of the pen and the blue line is representing sales and red line is representing the total cost. Here total cost line is the sum of fixed cost and variable cost. Fixed cost are at $10 for all quantities of units sold within the relevant range. To plot the total cost line at 0 units sold when fixed cost is $10 because variable cost is $0 when no units are sold. At the level of 8 units sold, total cost are $74, where is variable cost $64 plus fixed cost $10. Sales starting point is $0 at 0 units sold. And at the level of 8 units sold, total sales are $80. At 5 units sold, total revenue equal to total cost. This is break even point. The profit or loss at any sales level can be determined by the vertical distance between the two lines. For quantities fewer than 5 units sold, total cost exceeds total revenue and the EOLO area indicates losses at break even point area. For quantities greater than 5 units sold, total revenues exceed total cost and the green area indicates profits. This creates an angle called the angle of incidence which is starting at margin of safety area. Let's understand the formula. First one contribution margin. 
there are three formulas first one total sales $80 minus total variable cost $64 result contribution margin is $16 second one total fixed cost $10 plus total profit of $6 so the contribution margin again $16 third one 20% of total sales of $80 that creates contribution margin $16 also on the other side contribution margin ratio that is called also profit volume ratio that means the PV ratio first one contribution margin $16 is divided by sales $80 that creates 20% contribution margin second one 100% sales minus variable cost 80% that equals to 20% contribution margin and third one fixed cost $10 is divided by break even sales amount $50 we know that fixed cost and contribution margin is the same at break even point area that creates the result 20% contribution margin also Now the formula about break even point. At initial about units. First one, fixed cost $10 is divided by contribution margin per unit $2. That result is 5 units. Because of fixed cost is recovered by the contribution margin at the break even point area. Now the second one, sales 8 units minus the margin of safety 3 units. That result is also 5 units break even point. The break even sales and the margin of safety sales equal to total sales. Similarly, to find out the amount, first one, fixed cost $10 is divided by the contribution margin ratio 20%, that is $50 of the break even point. Let's compare the first formulas between in units and amount. Contribution margin per unit is used to find out the break even point units and the contribution margin ratio is used to find out the break even point amounts second formulas sales amount $80 minus margin of safety amount $30 so that result is $50 break even point also third one break even point 5 units is multiplying with the sales price per unit $10 that result is also $50 for the break even point in the same way to find out the ratio Break even point sales $50 is divided by sales amount $80 that represents 62%. And second one, 100% sales minus margin of safety ratio 38% that creates 62% break even point ratio also. Now, the formula about the margin of safety. At initial about this, first one, Profit $6 is divided by contribution margin per unit $2. That result is 3 units. Because profit is earned by the contribution margin at the margin of safety area. Second one. Total sales 8 units minus break even point sales 5 units. Result is also 3 units margin of safety. Similarly, to find out the amount. First one. Profit $6 is divided by the contribution margin ratio of 20%, that is $30 of margin of safety. Let's compare in the first formula between in units and amount. Contribution margin per unit is used to find out the margin of safety units and the contribution margin ratio is used to find out the margin of safety amounts. Second one. Total sales amount $80 minus break even point sales amount $50. So that result is $30 margin of safety also. The third one. Margin of safety 3 units is multiplying with the sales price per unit $10. That result is also $30 of margin of safety. In the same way to find out the ratio. First one. Margin of safety sales $30 is divided by sales amount $80. That presents 38% and the second one 100% sales minus break even point sales ratio 62% that creates 38% margin of safety ratio also. Now is the important part to find out the required sales for target profit. 
if we want to achieve profit then we have to recover fixed cost at first by contribution margin. Therefore, fixed cost $10 and profit $6 have to be achieved by contribution margin per unit so that result is 8 units. If targeted profit is after tax, then after tax profit need to be converted into before tax profit that divided by 1 minus tax rate. In this example, there is no tax. So after tax profit result would be in the same also. On the other side, in calculation the amount needs to use contribution margin ratio that result in $80 in both formulas. Now fixed cost. We have already discussed about fixed cost. There is a first formula contribution margin $16 minus profit $6 that results $10 fixed cost. On the other side, to calculate the profit, contribution margin $16 minus fixed cost $10 that result is $6 profit. We know that fixed cost plus profit equal to total contribution margin. Again, to calculate the fixed cost, the second one, Break even point amount $50 is multiplied by the contribution margin ratio 20% that results the contribution margin of the break even point area that is equal to fixed cost and the result is $10. Similar way, on third one, break even point units, 5 units are multiplying with the contribution margin per unit $2 that is giving the same result. On the other hand, to calculate the profit, the second one. Margin of safety $30 is multiplying by the contribution margin ratio 20%. That means the contribution margin of the margin of safety area that is equal to profit of $6. Same as third one. Margin of safety 3 units is multiplying with the contribution margin per unit $2. That's also giving the same result. To find out the ratio, we need to divide that amount by the sales amount. Here is one example is. To calculate break-even point ratio, break-even point is divided by sales. It can be in units or amount. And on the other side, to find out the sales, we have to divide any items by its ratio. For example, break-even point divided by break-even point ratio. I have shared the main formulas to show the relationship with the pain concept. Hopefully, this helped you much. Please give this video a thumbs up that always helps reaffirm that the content that I am creating is valuable. And if you want to see further content like this, please hit that subscribe button and that way you will get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if anything else you want me to show you how to do, leave a comment down below. I will add to it my list of videos to create. And that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.